to take exams? I think it's stupid. Let's go. With the Republicans winning big during the midterm elections, Senate Majority Leader Henry Kissinger has said that the first thing he would like to accomplish is to reopen the Watergate hearings to try and clear former President Nixon's good name. Do you support the Senate's decision on that matter? No. You do not? No. You would leave that closed? Leave it closed. I, I don't, not one way or the other one. Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right. Do you think well, Nixon got a bad rap? Yes. You do. Okay. Um, could really care less on that one. Weren't a big Nixon fan? Not really. Well, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it, but now that you're talking about, we'll look, in, look into it and support that, you know, to clear up the, what's, right. clear up the name. So I'll look into that. Okay. No, I do not. All right. You are not a Nixon fan? No. All right. Any thoughts about him? No, no thought about him because he got away with a lot of stuff, you know. No. You do not. <laughs> I do not. You are not a uh, Nixon fan, I take. Well, I, I like him, but you know, I, he was wrong, and he did wrong, and he needs to stay. It needs to stay. This verdict needs to stand. No. No. Phase seven of Obamacare is scheduled to take place this week. Will you and your family be following the phase seven guidelines, which state that all citizens should do a prostate and mammary self-examination every three months? No. On the Obamacare guidelines on that? No. I uh, love prostate exams, so yes, I think I will be participating in this. You're you're not a fan of Nixon, but you're a fan of prostate exams. Is that what we're hearing so far? Yeah, yeah that, that's, that about sums up so far. Okay, and then I'm going to take it you're all, you'd also be in favor of the hernia check. Um, yeah, well, only if they buy me dinner. I I I heard about that. And yes, I will. Uh, yeah. We'll be following those yes, guidelines. Yes. Yes. All right. I won't ask you the, about the hernia check since you're not going to be needing that. So, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. And what about the hernia check? Uh, well, I don't have no decision about that, you know. All right. But you will follow the guidelines. Oh, I will. I will do it when I choose to do it, not because anybody tells me to do it. You are not a fan of Obamacare. I'm, no, I went to apply for the Obamacare and they wanted 700 or something. If I could afford $700 a month, I'd be living in a condo. There you go. There you go. No. You will not be doing that. No. So you're not going to follow the Obamacare guidelines? No. No, okay. I probably will be. Nope. No. 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 Alrighty. Are you not a believer in Obamacare? Not at all. After a 40-year hiatus, NBC has announced that it's bringing back the Dean Martin Variety Show. The guest list for Dean's first show back include the Andrews Sisters, Norm Crosby, Sid Caesar, and John Wayne. Are you excited to see the return of an old-fashioned variety show? Most definitely. So that is something you'll be watching? Yes, sir. I don't really watch much TV, so I can't say yes or no. Uh, you don't, you're way too young to remember the original Dean Martin variety uh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember uh, any variety shows? <laughs> variety show. <laughs> you don't even know what a variety show is, do you? Um, I, I can't actually say that, do. Yes, I, I, used to, I watched it. It's been a long time ago, but I used to watch that. Yeah. I, I will watch it if they do. I sure am, you know, because they need to put something over what they got on that thing, you know. D. D. Martin was a lot better than what they had on have on right now. That's right. Okay. Yes. So this is something you'll watch. Yes. Yes, I, I would be. You will. Yeah. yeah. Will you both watch that? Yeah. yeah. You will. Okay. No. You will not. You will not watch that. No. No. Maybe occasionally. Good. And what other guests would you like to see him have on there? Cabinet. Well, finally, uh, can you share with us your reaction last week when the announcement was made that a cure for cancer had been found? Um, uh, I didn't really have a reaction. That is really good that they found a cure for that, especially for these children, cancer period. Yeah, I was uh, happy about it, you know, because a lot of people need help with that. Uh, I believe that the government has a cure for a lot of things, that, so it doesn't surprise me. Hooray! Oh, I was very excited. Uh, they said that a lot of times I, uh, when they put it to, to, in, with the public and, it, and we see it work as, as a public, a group of publics, I guess we would say, yes, we finally got it. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know about that announcement. I had not heard that. That's great, though. Yeah, 
It is great. Um, were you surprised that the cure ended up being something as simple as combining warm, warm goat's milk with Pop Rocks? Well, actually, yeah. I mean, is there also a simple cure for AIDS for that, you know? Right. Maybe they can, you know, find better medication for these people. If they can find a cure for cancer, maybe they can work on HIV and all these other diseases, like Ebola. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, but, you know, right. <laughs> the government's capable of anything. No. <laughs> you were not, no. not surprised at all? No. Oh, right. <laughs> For real. That's what's written here. <laughs> I, I guess you don't believe me. Uh, no, I don't. That just sounds like an explosion waiting to happen. Okay. But if it cures cancer still, it's worth it. Warm goat milk is really good. Pop rocks are good. Actually, I want to try this combination now. Do we have like goat's milk and like pop rocks? Can I like try this? You know what? Next time you're around, we'll bring some, but going to have to wait on that one. No, 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 yes. Hooray! No. I uh, love prostate exams, so yes.